Well, during this pandemic, it's natural to really feel a little scared, anxious, angry, sad. For teachers and parents, it's really important to understand how those feelings are affecting those around us. Assistant Professor at Butler developing some new resources to try to deal with this time. And joining me right now is Lori Desitel to tell us a little bit more about this. And good morning. Thank you so much for talking about such an important issue. Nice to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Thank you so much. Absolutely. For having me. I know that this is really adding another level and kind of a layer of trauma to kids that are already dealing with so much adversity. What do you want them to know just in general terms before we really dig in? So I really feel at this point that this trauma that we're experiencing through this pandemic um, is just kind of a, a very unknown, unpredictable um, held in the body time you know we are sometimes feeling like we're just keep we keep cycling and we don't know what to expect next and that's hard on the brain um, for children um, not only are we out of a routine but we feel isolated and um, everything stopped there was no closure when um, schools ended for teachers and for children so I think this is really important and um, we know that oftentimes our bodies hold that trauma, that adversity. And so we can, we can see it through facial expressions mm -hmm. and the way we move. And um, I, think, I think it's very, very important for us just to be able to be aware of our tone of voice, mm -hmm. our gestures and posture, and really just being with our child um, or our adolescent in these times and just um, giving space and time for, um, you know, for that, maybe those feelings to be shared. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna make sure we don't run out of time here because there's something in one of your talking points I'm just fascinated to hear about. And you mentioned that there are three conditions that the brain can't handle. What are they and what do you mean by that? So um, what, the, what the conditions are, we struggle um, getting calm and regulated when there is chronic, unpredictable adversity. Um, the brain loves and thrives on routine and structure. So that's one condition. Isolation is very difficult on brain architecture. You know, we have a, we have, our brains are social organs. We are built to connect with other people. So that's a really tough condition for us. It, it, it is, um, we struggle with that. The third condition is physical or emotional restraint. And we're feeling that right now. You know, we are feeling kind of trapped in our homes, trapped, you know, in our space. And um, we feel some of our choices are gone. So those conditions um, are very important for us to understand. And children with a developing brain and body feel all of those. And sometimes they manifest in behaviors that we think, where did this come from? 10 seconds, what now can we do though? Is there that one so thing that we need to do? Here's what we can do. We can amp up our routines and our procedures at home. We can make sure that our children are feeling connected, whether it's journaling, whether it's um, you know just calling a friend, FaceTiming, um, and, and really making sure that um, we are taking care of ourselves because the best way we care for our children is when we are caring for our brain and body state. We sure do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's a great for us to be aware and especially how we are acting around our children um, while we're in the house. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Right.